Oh, it's just. Oh, hi, everybody. How are you? Ed and Dave here. We're just going over the exciting schedule we have planned for you. Oh, we just have film after film. Why do I never. Why is this with you? I never check my mic because I'm getting up uh, in between anyway, shows. Yes, the yeah. exciting uh, schedule, Ed, including Eat, Pray, Love and The Expendables. And Scott Pilgrim versus the world. Oh. <laughs> Boy, that sounds like a winner. Yeah, The Expendables I was looking forward to, Dave. Were you? It's all the old 80s action stars. Stallone, Dolph Lundgren, Jet Li, uh, Eric Roberts. <laughs> Eric Roberts. How did he get in there? Jason Statham? Yeah. And uh, they mentioned, I thought they were getting together with Schwarzenegger, but he wasn't listed. But he is listed in the trailer. I have a feeling he has a very small part. How, do you, how would you know that? Uh, he's a governor of the state, so I'm guessing... Well, you, how would you know his part is small? I'm guessing they got him in there for a cameo, just to complete... Oh, you're it. talking about in the film. <laughs> oh, that is Swan Stinker. <laughs> 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 Whatever. His Swanson Stinker. <laughs> Which was probably small at one time from the steroids, Dave. Oh, that could be. But, but does it yeah. grow back? <laughs> I don't know. I, I think it does. If, if, if you're on the steroids and things, you know... Shrivel. Yeah. When you stop the steroids, do they regain their stature? I think they do. Do they? I don't know. I know his breasts re <laughs> regain their stature when you see those Inquirer beach pictures oh. of Arnold on the beach. Hmm. Well, you he know. is you know, in his 60s now. You can't keep up that kind of no. beefness. All right, we have those films. We have a couple of things. We have, we're going to do the time machine on this show. What maybe. is that, Ed? Explain to me. Remember a couple no weeks clue. ago we went back in time oh, yes, <laughs> and looked did. at all the old uh, places in mm -hmm, the area, mm -hmm. like the Dairy Queen. Right. We're going to go back in time and look at the old products oh. from the time, from the 70s and 60s. And that sounds interesting. That should be interesting. And People will be tearing up with nostalgia. They do. I'm getting a little misty-eyed just thinking about it. I wasn't tearing up. I know I was up till 4 o'clock <laughs> when you start looking at these things. But you're always up till 4 o'clock. I usually am, yeah. You start looking. I found a website chock full of all this stuff. You just start looking at all these old packages. kind of fun. And the time flies by. Chock full. Chock full of nuts coffee? Chock full of nuts, yeah. Is that heavenly coffee? <laughs> Is that that one? Yeah. Chock full of nuts. Wasn't that one the I one? Go. Better call oh, was, a millionaire's money you can buy. That was Sanka, the guy from the doctor. Oh, Sanka. <laughs> to rid you of whores. <laughs> Sanka, yeah. We have to dig that sketch out. Oh, man. Why don't we jump in? We got a lot of material. Let's jump tonight. in. I'd like to know why it says ultimate, but I won't bother. <laughs> so that's a story I have. Thank okay. you for reminding me. All right. This is Eat, Pray, Love from Columbia Pictures, starring Julia Roberts, James Franco, and Billy Crudup. Liz Gilbert had everything a modern woman is supposed to dream of having. A husband, a house, a successful career. Yet, like so many others, she found herself lost, confused, searching for what she really wanted in life. My God, Ed, that sounds like me. Newly divorced and at a crossroads, <laughs> Gilbert steps out of her comfort zone, risking everything to change her life, embarking on a journey around the world that becomes a quest for self-discovery. It's rated PG-13, Ed, for brief, strong language, some sexual references, and the dreaded... Male rear nudity. <laughs> Mom, when did you accept the life you had? Oh, my baby. Always searching for something. Your underwear, my queen. Just folded my delicates. Oh, my God, baby, you are in so much trouble. You know how people start resembling their dogs? They used to look like Steven. Now you kind of look like David. I need to change. Since I was 15, I've either been with a guy or breaking up with a guy. I have not given myself two weeks of a breather just to deal with myself. You want to go away for a year? I used to have this appetite for my life, and it is just gone. I want to go someplace where I can marvel at something. I'm going to Italy. And then I'm going to India, and I'm going to end the year in Bali. I'm having a relationship with my pizza. This is my no-carb left-behind experiment.
If you could clear out all that space in your mind, you'd have a doorway. Oh, too late. We're back. <laughs> you know, the, 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 the rapport you have with the producer is flawless. <laughs> We just wanted our voices to come back over that, and oh. next thing you know, we're back. I, yeah, I suppose I didn't make it clear and set our voices up. But that's this. all right. That's enough of I that. I guess we could come back. That means cutting back. And sorry, that's that was my fault. It was. It was unclear, Ed. I was just saying I had the uh, gist. Uh, I don't want to leave the country. This woman's going here and there. I guess some people like to travel over to Italy and... All yes, these different do. places. I don't like to get on a plane anymore. No? <laughs> no. Yeah. You, you scared? When was the last time you were on a plane, Dave? Uh, 2007. Okay. That's not that long ago. As no. far as I'm concerned, it's not that long ago. I'm no. not a big, plan, big fan of the planes either. When someone asks me, what is it that scares you? I always say the fiery crash. Yeah. You know, well, I don't need my death certificate saying multiple dismemberment due to airplane disaster. It's not the crashing so much, it's the bad air for the three hours. I'm not thrilled with Really? That's the your plane. preference? You prefer the crash to the air? I'd rather I'll, take the crash. You know what? I'll inhale, inhale a fat man's farts on a flight for three hours mm -hmm. as long as there's no crash involved. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with that. Somebody I knew flew over to England for hours and hours. They had to go here and there. Oh, I know someone that went to Scotland not too long ago. Uh-huh. Got off the plane, was sick the entire yeah. <laughs> week she was there. She had to do what they had planned. But you're breathing in the, this air, right. recycled air, people breaking wind, the sicknesses, <laughs> viruses, all kinds of things. And then break. when you get, you're hoping you, you get sick when you get home. <laughs> you're going to get sick either way. You're just hoping it's when you're done with the trip. Well, I suppose. Right? Yeah, Plenty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that reminds me of my ultimate story. Okay, go ahead. What's the, the producer's story? wife in his hand. That ultimate electronics over where Circuit City <laughs> oh, <okay>. is. <laughs> I've been in there before just to look at the DVDs, which are a little overpriced. Uh, but the other day, I was a couple weeks ago. I was in there looking in the back. They have a lot of these nice setups, little uh, couches and things with all different TV setups. And then back beyond that, there's three separate rooms. One where you can test out all kinds of speakers. Mm -hmm. They have another one with big projection TVs. And then another one with actual projections with ah, giant screens. Yes. That's where they had the, the big U2 concert going, which is quite loud. I had to turn down. <laughs> but you go in there, you play with the speakers, and you play with the iPods, all these things. Now, I know I disinfected when I got back to the car, <laughs> but I know somewhere in there is where I picked up the stomach virus, <laughs> which knocked me out for the entire weekend, the 102 temperature. Oh. I tried my best, but apparently you got to bring the portable stuff in with you and disinfect <laughs> after everything you touch in there. Ooh, but maybe. if you go over a nice store to look around in, just Is bring it? your Purell with you. Okay. I've never been there as of yet. You should uh, take a I, peek I do, in there. I do see their ads in the Sunday paper mm -hmm. with the picture of the guy who owns it. <laughs> Ultimate oh. Electronics. And, yeah. uh, but I haven't yet to, to uh, go to that uh, establishment. A lot of nice setups. I don't know if you'd buy anything there. I know it's going to close within a year. Well, probably. <laughs> Get ready. It's like that Very Rex. Expensive. Didn't they have a the Rex for, oh, yeah. a while, for a few years? And that's gone. Yeah. Now there's an Aaron's. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm waiting for that to close down. But Best Buy is still the place to go, I guess. Is it? Hippo's still Hippo's has strong. It. <laughs> They're expensive over there, too. I buy my, my electronics, uh, my television from... Should I, can I plug people? Is that right? Well, is you that can wrong? mention where you buy it. Well, I bought it at Exchange TV in Rensselaer. Oh, I don't even know what that is. Oh, uh, well, it's a TV place, then. <laughs> oh. Exchange, is that the only location? I believe it is. Ro oh. Routes 9 and 20. A fine... Uh, little place and they know their stuff and they'll service it if you have a problem. Oh, that's good. Very, very nice people. Nice people to deal with. <laughs> or is that Carbone? That's another location, yeah. Oh. All right, uh, another film. Oh, let's set this up because this is a quick clip. What, here. The Expendables? Yeah. The hard hitting, Ed, hard hitting action thriller mm -hmm. uh, about a group of mercenaries uh, hired to infiltrate a South American country and overthrow its ruthless dictator. <laughs> 